And how was Richard Rose on this experience? Because he was kind of new to that place as well. Yeah, well, he, he was one of those guys who tried to throw me when I went into this uh, because he, he knew I never did Shakespeare. And he says, here's the script we're going to work with. The stave, all they use were V's. And I said, yeah, so what? He said, that's a script we're working from. And I said, well, there's only one. Actually, there's two. But this is the one that uh, Sh uh, Stratford uses, whittled down to three hours so the crew can have time to turn around to the second show. Yeah. I said, don't, don't pull any show with me, Richard. I know you didn't like doing me through coming through slaughter because I wouldn't do what you said because you were wrong in that play. You were, you were wrong to do what you asked me to do because you wanted to see me dance to your strings. I, I know, I won't do that. I'm not gonna to dance to your strings during this play either. So wait a minute, you went into a, a what do you call the prize pig or what? Prize that, hog. The prize hog. You went to a prize hog position at Stratford, not having done Shakespeare, having abhorred the play in grade nine with a director you didn't get on with. Graham, is that on a recipe for unhappiness? At that time in my life, I was, uh, I was depressed and I needed something. I wanted to see how deep the well would be, I suppose. The well of depression or the well of strength? The well of strength. How far can I go down before I have to push back up and get out of there? What, uh, what, 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 what keeps me treading water? I have to learn how to tread water if I'm going to work in that situation, or else I'll drown, or else I will go into full depression and, and die. A lot of actors I know are, are suffering from depression. And you're standing on a teeter-totter right in the, right in the pil fulcrum, and you've got one foot over here and one here, and you've got to keep that level. And it's very hard. It's very hard to slip from one to the other and not know it unless you recognize that thing. And recognition comes with time. And if people look at you funny or tell you you're acting weird and you think you're okay, then you are weird. If people around you see you as weird, then you are weird. But me going to Stratford was, uh, it's been a dream. It's been, it's the, my Mecca, I suppose, to get to Stratford. Gotta go to Stratford. And I signed the contract, fully knowing what I was getting into. But with a nervous hand, I signed it and went and uh, did what was asked of me. Uh, not knowing that the cost it would uh, bring to me. And I was hitting the bottle pretty hard and uh, almost turned into a full-blown, completely illiterate alcoholic. And that's another thing a lot of actors slip into, alcoholic and, alcohol and drugs to uh, sort of soothe their uh, wounds. And, uh, and that I realized that's, that's no good, that's not the answer. That's not the answer. The answer is be the best you can, do what you can do. If you can't climb this wall, you tried. Yeah, but it takes strength to be able to say that, Graham. You know, and some just don't have, and I'll include myself in this at times, you can't find the strength. No, you can't. And I can't, so. You're not Superman. We're not Supermen. We're not super people. We're just the average Joe, as far as I'm concerned. I put on my pants one leg at a time, just like everybody else. And yet you take on a high profile job that has a lot of attention on it and the whole culture is looking at and you are going to tell that story. Yeah. So you carry, the actor or the artist carries enormous risk with them. And you said that at the very beginning of, the, of, the, of, this, of this conversation that if you're not prepared to take the risk, don't be an actor. If you're not prepared to put this at risk, don't be an actor. That's true. 
in my opinion. I mean, everybody has their own opinion, their own uh, solution, their own answer to what their problems are. I can't tell you what your problems are. I can't answer your problems for you. You can answer your problems. I can't. I can answer my problems, maybe. But I don't rely on somebody to solve things for me. I dove into that well just to see how far, how far I could go. And I came out of it. Not totally could destroyed, but as I think is a better, better performer, better person with tolerance. To tolerance towards yourself? Or tolerance to towards myself and tolerance towards others.